what's going on everybody dj short hair here welcome back to the channel it's fun some news baby today sid modding has his john deere 9r a2 studios got more progress on the tlx phoenix service bed custom modding had a great idea and it's gonna benefit everybody black sheep modding our bank with something new and it's got wings lucius modding teased a new atv raleigh christie's revolution it runner is almost here fs modding's lizard thunder rt is in game ja modding talks about their bandarante attacker 20,000. lancy boy has an american life farming shed pack mepper's paradise are making some new walls JHHG Modding and Sid Modding have teamed up to bring a new brand into the game. Let's check it out. Before we get started today, keep in mind that I'm making this video before mods release and before the testing list is updated, since I have to be at the airport this morning to pick up Mr. 4B Gaming. Like, I gotta be there like now. I'm gonna be working on the mod video when I get back, but that's gonna be a little bit later today. I decided to do the news video first because we had a ton of stuff today already and it fits best for my schedule. I could actually get this video out to you guys before going to the airport. So stay tuned as I'm still gonna have all videos like normal today. Plus, I'm gonna be streaming the farm some show today as well. That's going to be starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Oh yeah, and I'm going to be in Clutch's live stream tonight as well. It's going to be pretty fun. See you guys there. Starting off today with some big news from Sid Modding and their John Deere 9R for all platforms. Sid has been quite busy with real life for a little while now due to his job, but this past week in his spare time, he was able to catch up on some work, added some new configurations, fix the bugs, and considering everything, has done a ton of work this week. The only thing left to do right now is fix some textures, test it, and then submit it to the mod hub for all platforms. As you can see here, the 9R is going to be getting plenty of customization and lots of configurations as well to make it however you want it to look. Different wheels and tires, different weight brackets, rock box, and plenty more. This is based off of the John Deere 2021 9R. And oh yeah for all platforms. Next up from A2 Studio, he shows off more progress on the TLX Phoenix service attachment, which he says is starting to look quite amazing and that you will not want to miss his live stream later today. It's going to be starting his stream at 6 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube, and you can find links to both his YouTube channel and his Facebook down in the description below. David is working really hard to get these mods done as quickly as possible, and he's always interested in your feedback. On many occasions, he has allowed his live chat to help make tough decisions or even easy decisions on his creations, giving you the option to have input. Therefore, you <laughs> love what he does because you helped create it. You're not going to want to miss this stream today, I promise. Some big news, Custom Modding is back with us today with something a little bit different than we're used to seeing from him. They have shown off their Echo Vario 1000 Gen 1 Gen 2. As you may know, they've already released over 30 mods in Farm Sim 19. But every month, they get messages about their old creations, so they've got an idea. Once a month going forward, they're going to be revisiting an old mod and updating it with their new standards, including all features that they have recently added to their latest mods. Don't worry, the new mod will still be remain a simple edit so that the overall functionality and expectation is still the same as the original. It's not going to lose its charm. As for this Agco Vario 1000 Gen 1 Gen 2, they have the modeling done, UV map, textures, shots editor, and XML work completed. They're trying to get it on ModHub. However, as you may know, there's always been, there's already something similar to this on ModHub right now, and there's been quite a bit of controversy around it since its release over two years ago. As you may know, there's one mod on the uh, uh, fan of Challenger 1000, then another popped up, and the original modder got mad and asked for it to beat it. It was a mess, an absolute mess. I think it's safe to say right now that we may not see this come to all platforms, probably just released on PC, but I really genuinely hope that we get to see it. It's gonna have new additions as well. New 2020 Goodyear LSW OptiTrack Territories, new realistic sounds, the best sounds, of course. New wheels, new front weights from the year 2020. Various tire options, a 22 inch, 30, 36, singles, duels, triples, oh man. New animations, quick hitch selection between Gen 1 and Gen 2. New lighting system for the United States. Available models manufactured by Echo, so Challenger and Fent. I'll let you guys know once we get more information on this mod because I really want to see it come to all platforms. Black Sheep Modding is also back with us today for the first time in about three weeks. First time in a couple months with something brand new. Today, they bring us information on their new Quadro Pro Baylor Pack with some modifications for even more efficiency than the original one, which I believe released in Farm Sim 17, I think. The 3D files have been completely remade, as well as the addition of a 14-meter folding windrow on the baler, a highly requested feature. 
as that's how the modified stuff that I use works. The Baylor is going to be available in a few different brands. So you got Fent, Challenger, Massey Ferguson, and New Holland. The Quadro stack is licensed by Lizard, unfortunately, for console compatibility on Mod Hub. And it can stack four square bells high. Black Sheet Modding says that it is close to completion and coming soon to all platforms. Did somebody say four-wheeler tees? Yep, and it was none other than Slusha's modding. A few days ago, they showed off the go-kart, and we showed that here on the Farm Sim News that they're working on right now. And today, we get a tease of something a little bit different, the four-wheeler. As you can see, it's more of a demonstration of modeling and the process going from nothing on the right-hand side to the final-ish product on the left-hand side, but it's still cool nonetheless see this. Unfortunately, we don't have any information. I'll let you know once we do. A new ATV is always welcome. Raleigh Christie of the VSR modding team has released a new video showing off their new creation, the VS Truck Revolution IT. We talked about this a few weeks ago, but today we finally get to see it in game and see how it's going to look in all the customization. Unfortunately, customization is virtually identical to the Revolution truck that we already have, so not much difference going to be there. But if you like that, you're going to love this. As I mentioned before as well, lots of trucks are getting the IT runner treatment right now, so nothing out of the ordinary here. It's great to see another option for players to use. Mod is still being worked on as far as I know, and it has not been sent off for testing yet, but that's because we haven't gotten updates to testing lists in all week. So check out Raleigh Christie linked in the description below to see more. FS Modding has some more pictures of their Lizard Thunder RT in game. Should we work in the fields on Ravenport? You probably wouldn't think too much of this as it sits right now, but Keeping in mind that only yesterday we were seeing renders of this mod in Giants Editor. Today, it's already in game and the textures appear to be completed, customization options all working, and it's working, it's in the game. This is a great sign for those of you that are looking forward to this new tractor. But they aren't the only ones with their modded game. JA Modding is also here with their Banderante Attacker 20,000 in game, saying that they are almost finished with the model and they hope to send it off to Giants for testing on Monday. The model was done 100% faithfully to the real life variant and all the little details on the model have been left, which is not something that you see every day. Every bolt, screw, washer, dryer, uh, fertilizer, I don't know. The more, <laughs> they're all there, man. They also recreated the directional system and its suspension for the wheels. And they're excited to see what the community thinks. If all goes well. We might even see this released next week. Lancy Boy says that it has been requested that he upload the sheds from American Life Farming to the Mod Hub for players to use on their own maps wherever they want, since the American shed market really isn't bursting at the seams on Mod Hub at the moment. Well, today our wish comes true, as Lancy Boy says the American Life Placeable Pack is on its way to all platforms. This is going to benefit those of you playing on American Life Farming too, because now you're going to be able to build your own farm and mirror the feeling and visual appearance of the surrounding farms, but make it your own. What do you plan on doing with this mod pack once it's released? Appler's Paradise has something else for us today, which they say should be with us sometime next week. The old Victorian and Edwardian wall set. These are going to be great if you want to build an enclosed farm area or you just want to bring some life to areas surrounding your map. Mapper's Paradise are known for making high quality placeables and details. These are going to be no different. We should see these released next week for all platforms. And lastly today, we've got another new brand coming to Farming Simulator 19, and it's going to be coming to Farm Sim 22 as well. Thanks to the cooperation between two of the biggest names in modding, JHHG Modding and Sid Modding. Together, they're helping to bring the brand Chukowski, I believe is how it's pronounced, to Farming Simulator players around the world. This is a Polish brand that specializes and focuses on the production of agricultural machines, I spelled that word, cultivation <laughs> products, primarily known for having unrivaled success in their strip till cedars. Here you can see one of their flagship products, the STK Cedar. Huge shout out to Sid Modding and JHHG Modding for teaming up to help bring yet another highly detailed mod and brand into the game. You guys rock. And I'm about to rock out this weekend with guest 4P coming to visit. Not a great segue, but it's self-aware and that's really all that matters. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those other projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Because that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I know news video is a little bit early today. I had to wake up early to get this video done. We had tons of stuff. This is a 
That's a great news day. All being said, I hope you have an awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Alright, 4B Gaming is going to be here for four days. Let the craziness begin. Yara.